Hi, I'm Roy McPure, and I'm here to tell you about an amazing new technology, small hydropower. It turns out that if we build a whole lot of small dams, we can generate tons of free energy without harming the environment. Here's how it works. We build a small dam or weir across a river. Did I mention some small dams are 200 feet tall and nearly 1,000 feet across? Next, we divert your river into a pipe, sending the water through our turbines to generate power. Since there's no reservoir and the river keeps flowing right through our turbines, we call this a run of river project. Our dams really blend into the surrounding forest, and most little critters never even notice them. On some projects, our pipes can run for 10 miles or more, leaving nothing but a beautiful empty stream bed. Next, we cut down some trees, build a few roads, and string up some power lines. Finally, we generate power, but only when the river is running, which on average is just a few months per year, and depends on how much rain and snow we've had. Thanks to global warming, we now have smaller snowpacks, so when we do have water to make power, it's not at the time of year when demand is high. But remember, it's free energy! Speaking of free, our small hydro projects cost much less than a large dam. Of course, we don't account for environmental impacts, or the fact that small dams generate small amounts of electricity. That just makes too much sense. Besides, we build in extremely remote areas, so these costs can really add up. But the dam itself is very affordable. Well, all that money means more jobs. And when we build a dam, we bring lots of jobs to your area. But don't worry about working too hard. We don't hire many locals, and we only need them until construction is done. After that, we run small dams remotely, and only need a few maintenance workers who can service multiple dams. Say, did I mention we're saving the planet? We can't worry about the costs. Now remember how I said our run of river dams have very little effect on the environment? Well, that's true, but I should warn you that even small dams do have a big impact. They limit sediment transport, change water temperatures, affect water quality, limit fish migration, and drastically alter the ecosystem. Do you know what a bull trout is? No? Well, great, because if we keep warming and adding sediment to rivers, you won't have to. We won't even have to keep them on the endangered species list because they'll be extinct. But seriously, folks, what does this mean to you? Well, if you aren't a fisherman, hunter, farmer, eater of food, drinker of water, or breather of air, no problem. Small hydro is clean and green, and green technology is the wave of the future. Even though our new small hydro technology is the same old thing we've been doing for the past 200 years, maybe it'll work out better for us this time.